intro. Anyway, today it's Miner's Haven from the beginning day. I'm actually gonna continue the series. Let's uh, crack into some boxes and stuff right away. I don't wanna waste any time with this. Let's just open and get going. But yeah, we're gonna be doing Christmas stuff. I'll probably do a little bit of rebirthing, try and get some of the Christmas items so that I can start farming up some gifts and see if I can get anything cool in this account. That being said, there's a 0% chance I go for question mark, question mark, question mark on this, on this save file because God no, I will absolutely not do that. If I get it while I'm grinding, then cool. If not, then who cares? Anyway, let's just go. I just wanna I just wanna start doing some rebirth thing and then we'll we'll just see what happens. Maybe I can get a cool limited shiny on this save. That would be pretty cool, wouldn't it? Get like a get like a nifty little limited shiny. That would be pretty sweet. And it, it, that's actually not super far fetched because the limited shinies are a lot more common now. Anyway though, I maybe we'll get something cool. I, do, I basically right now just want all of the limited rebirth items. Oh god, and I don't have any from last year on the save either because I didn't play back then. Oh man, I have to grind out for all of them then. That's gonna kind of suck. Also, 43 days between the last time I did an MH from the beginning and now, so that's pretty cool. Hey, look at that. We got one right away. That's uh, that's what you love to see right there. I know as well that I haven't been doing this series super often, and honestly, I just haven't had as much motivation to, to work on it. I don't know. It's a fun series to do, but I, I never actually feel like recording it unless there's like an event or something going on. I mean, to be fair, I also don't feel like recording unless there's an event going on anyway, so that probably factors into it a little bit. Regardless, though, we are back. I've not abandoned the series completely. I do want to try and get to at least Second Sacrifice before Third Sacrifice comes out. Try and, like, meet the requirements, hopefully, if I can. That would be that would be kind of my goal still. I want to get that. Look at that. We're, we're killing it on the on the Limited Reborn front right now. I don't know, maybe at some point I'll actually get the motivation to grind out on this save and grind out this series a little bit more. I, I don't know, maybe this will be what I work on, what I focus on while we wait for a third sacrifice. I think that could be fun, give me something to actually do, keep uploading and do shit on the channel. Let me just, like, start placing these down, I guess, just to keep track of where I'm at on everything. Because I'd like to not start gift farming with a setup that isn't able to get me at least most of the gifts. I don't necessarily need one that's gonna get me literally every single gift right from the spark. It's I don't need a setup that's gonna give me every gift off the start, but I would like to have a setup that gives me most of the gifts, at least. I'm doing that means that I need to get god-tier luck like this with getting all of these items. If there were a lot of people I saw complaining about getting them, and so far, it seems like there it's a non-issue, because Jesus Christ, I've gotten four of them in, like, ten rebirths. I guess if you're a little bit higher of a life, it can be a little bit harder to get them, but, you know. I got a small enough item pool right now that they're really not difficult to get. I, I do want to get a limited shiny on this save, actually. I think that would be pretty cool. That being said, if I get the gift of trolling on this save, I'm gonna be upset. The, the shiny gift of trolling, I'll genuinely be upset, because I want that thing on my main save. I, and, okay, I said, Jesus Christ, the RNG is so good right now. Yeah, this isn't gonna take very long at all to start getting, like, a working gift farming setup. Yeah, and this also does give me a good opportunity to just kind of sit down and grind out a few lives, which is nice, because that's something that I really haven't done on this save file in a while. I do want to do that at some point, too. I do think I am going to eventually grind off camera and just try and get up to, like, a decent life. But I, I'm not spending forever just on this sacrifice. I've already wasted so much time on here just doing, like, event stuff. That being said, I don't know if I'm going to actually have the motivation to do that, to do any of that grinding, because you know how that's gone already. I, I've talked about doing grinding off camera before, and now we're here at S200. Yeah, basically, if I say there's something that I want to do, then don't believe it, or don't don't expect me to actually follow through on that, because I'm very bad at actually, like, getting shit done and following through with my ideas. That's something that I've always been bad at, and it's something that you shouldn't expect out of me. Also, I got our food... Fish, food we got our first dupe of one of the limited reborns, which is kind of to be expected. I'm sure I'll get a lot of them before I get every single item. I am also actually going to buy all of the items in the shop that I can use, all like the UC items that I need for gift farming. Get the festive refiner. This thing is actually just a genuinely good item to have on hand anyway. Even just ignoring gift farming, it's just a really nice item. All right, I am real quick going to go and run up and talk to talk to Jack Oof Door and then get a snowge as well. But I do still need to actually get the quest item so that I can farm presents and then having snowge is just nice to get the get the cool funny collectible item. Hello there, Miss Jack Oof Door. I got corrected by a lot of people that Jack is actually female, which I didn't know and I don't really care because I don't care about the MH lore, but you know. I ain't out here trying to disrespect anyone's gender identity. If Jack is female, then she's a female. And you know, that's just how it be. We out here respecting people's pronouns and shit. And look at that. We're getting we're getting good items for it. You love to see it, boys. And girls and other identities, of course. I can't just I just <laughs> Alright, we got another dupe. That's uh to be expected. 
I guess while I'm rebirthing, I can open some boxes as well, see if I can get, like, some of the exotics. And the- god, the toothpick is such a godsend of a game pass. It is incredible. Look at how fast these boxes go now. It is genuinely amazing. I stand by the fact that this perk is far too good to just be an artifact perk. This is incredibly useful, and I think it should have been, like, some kind of permanent game pass reward, or, you know, something else that wasn't just an artifact item. And also, the Santa's Train is an item that I forgot about, so I'm actually happy that I got that from boxes. All right, now that's just kind of mean. That's just, that's just, like, uncalled for right there. Once again, just unnecessary. Just, like, why? I mean, I'll take that. If that if that's the trade-off, then I'll take it. Still though, it just it just does it still seems kind of rude and just uncalled for in my opinion. Oh, hey, look at that! That's what I was that's what I was looking for right there. Grand fruit cake out of a mag box? I will absolutely take that. Also, I I just want to say it again. I've mentioned it on stream before. This new pressing Z to interact with stuff is so incredible. I absolutely love it. Like I it, just as quality of life as like small little changes go. I love it. It's so amazing. All right, now is, I think, where this starts to become a little bit grindy, because there's a few items I need. I That's really good. I, okay, I can actually stop opening boxes now, because I've gotten the, the event exotics. Damn, okay. I mean, I guess I'll open a little bit more to try and get the ice daggers just for the hell of it. Damn, I wasn't expecting to just get the exotics from this event that fast, though. That's really nice. And it... Okay. I, as I was saying before, the boxes decided to just stop me with insane RNG. I think this is the part where things are going to get a little bit more grindy for me, because there's just a few items left that I need. I need to get dupes of, like, the candy cane cannon and stuff, and just a few last items. This might be the part where I just start kind of grinding for a bit, and then I'll come back once I have all of the stuff and talk to you guys again. Because, yeah, I'm sure I'm going to be here for a little bit grinding. Hey, poggers. Hey, double poggers. That's two in a row, baby. Look at that. You'll love to see it, boys. You'll love to see it. All right, that means I believe I'm only missing the candy cane cannon? I think that's the only one that I don't have, yeah. Looks like the candy cane cannon is all I'm missing. Of course, the one that you need dupes of is the one that I don't have. Oh, and also I rebuilt my setup and made it a little bit better, and it's all nice and cool now. Okay, I don't think I'm going to spend much longer rebirthing. I think I'll do, like, three more or something, and then if I get the candy cane cannon, I do. If I don't, then I'll farm gifts without it. We don't need it. I don't care. I'll, I'll take my, my slightly lower gift pool. Yeah, I've already been going for a while, and I haven't even, like, started farming gifts or anything. I'm literally recording this at 6.30 in the morning. It'll be, it'll be kind of lucky, honestly, if you guys even see it on the day that I want to get this up. But I need to get moving with some of the gift farming so that I can actually get everything in the, in the episode. That being said, I'll be doing some rebirthing and some present farming off camera, I'm sure. So that'll definitely help in actually getting this stuff. I don't think I'll be getting a lot of stuff in the actual episode itself. Another President Schrodinger. Game is just trying to rub it in my face right now for the last few rebirths that I'm doing. All right, last one. Didn't get it. Guess it's time to do some gift farming, boys. All right, now I need to actually try and remember how I built my gift farming setup. I think it was pretty simple, so I should be able to get it done real quickly. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I have everything that you need for a gift farming setup, though, that isn't the candy cane cannon, so I should be able to just build my setup here and get most of the gifts. All right, and I think that's all I need for this. I'm pretty sure I now am set to go, possibly at least. I'm still not 100% sure if this is all I need, but I guess we'll find out real quick. Oh, it's not everything, is it? I just realized I'm missing the Santa's work clock still. I forgot I didn't have that. Well, I guess, uh, I guess we'll make this work. Of course, I'm gonna be using the mystical teleporter for this account because I don't have a good infuser on here. All right, first gift, we got the rushed present from vacation, which I guess I can open now. I guess it'll be helpful right away, and I can already tell this is gonna be a, a very tedious process. Yeah, this is, a uh, this is gonna take a while to actually get any farming done, and I'm not even getting, like, close to max value presents because I'm missing a bunch of the items anyway. Yeah, what was that, like 55 present value? Oh boy, that's a uh, great. Uh, I gotta check what I'm missing, actually. I think it, it will just be like one or two gifts that I don't have. Yeah, I can't get the gigantic and then I can get everything else. That's not that bad. I, I don't mind missing out on the gigantic all that much. You know, it would help if I actually remembered to hit my mind before I went and gave my stuff to Santa. That would make this a little bit ba- va 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 Yep, that's what this is gonna be. I can- God, alright. I don't think I'm gonna be grinding presents for very long tonight. I- I'm kinda- I'm getting that kinda- that kinda impression from how this is going. Yeah, I, I guess I'll go for a little bit. I'll go until I've been recording for, like, a little over an hour, I guess, and then see what happens. Maybe I'll get something cool in that time, and maybe not. Maybe I'll just grind for it off camera. I do want to try and get at least one, like, cool exotic or something, though. And yeah, having the presents down here, at least, does make this a little bit less painful. What's up, Santa? You got something cool for me? No, you don't. You got a gift that can't be opened yet. I still don't understand how they have gifts in the game that still aren't openable well after Christmas that didn't have presents ready when they were added. Like, that... 
I don't understand that. I also don't understand why I don't have a gift here. Wait, I'm not even missing the Santa's work clock. Why don't I have it in the setup? Hello? Where? Why is this, like, different from the setup on my main save? Hello? Alright, whatever. Apparently I'm an idiot. That's fine, I guess. I'll throw this in. I'm actually, like, I... You're probably gonna see that in the video. You're gonna see me get that, and then I'm not gonna use it in the setup, and then say I don't have it, and then a bunch of people are gonna get angry at me. Uh, sometimes it's tough being a complete moron, but, you know, I, I, I strive through it, and I have managed to get a following through it somehow. I genuinely wonder if it would be faster for me to just reset. Like, how long does it actually take to respawn? Let's see. Let's get, let's get a quick little count on how fast it takes to respawn here. Uh, not that long. Yeah, so if I just, like, throw my infuser down here and then switch this to my hotbar, I, I mean, resetting might actually be faster. It would also be nice if I could get the gifts to actually, like, work there. I don't want to see how much value this gift gets now. I'm curious if it can even, like, reach max value at all now that I've actually got the proper upgraders in there. 56. Cool. I forgot to hit the stupid mine. If the research, cool, doesn't do anything yet, and it's probably not gonna be very good. Yeah, okay, sitting here and grinding out these gifts is not gonna be very fun, I think. It's also not gonna be great for the, the video. I imagine this isn't particularly interesting, so I might just sit down and grind for, like, another, like, 20, 30 minutes just sitting here, and then add, like, little clips of me getting interesting stuff if I get anything cool. I mean, I, a haunted buried green gift is actually really, really nice, though. That's really cool. That being said, though, I think I am just going to start grinding presents and just adding in little little highlights for when I get something cool. But yeah, I'll see you guys when I actually get interesting stuff from Santa. I mean, okay, that happened, like, right after the green gift, but okay. I d cool. I mean, I'll take a nifty little exotic like that. Hold on, let me just pop open the buried green gift and the, the chonker gift real quick, just because... I know what they open up into, and they're actually... I, I mean, the Chonker gift isn't super useful. It's cool to have, but the, the Spectre of Christmas Present is genuinely a great item to have for the save. I'm Okay, cool. An, another exotic gift. Awesome. I, okay, Jesus Christ. It's just loading me with exotics now. What the hell? I Okay, thanks, game. Much appreciated. Hey, look at that. Once a Grand Tree, too. That's pretty cool. God, I'm, I, the exotic look is actually, like, pretty solid now. I didn't expect to be getting this many things. Also, I've concluded that resetting is actually, like, pretty fast. Like, I'm I'm going at a pretty decent rate here by resetting, just, uh, spawning in on the infuser and then running straight back. It's, uh, it's going pretty well, actually. Hey, another haunted buried green gift. That's actually pretty nice to get a dupe of. Hey, look at that, the gift of funny eggs, too. I, why am I getting so many exotics now? It, it's just like loading me with all the, the exotic gifts on the save. Jesus. Let me open a few of these up. The midnight one opens into the aurora wings. Yep. Bunny eggs is a bad item, but I'll open it regardless just because it's a cool item. The wide gift I can open up even though it's another garbage item. I think the fragile gift is not great either. Oh yeah, that's the snow globe refiner. Yeah, it's pretty trash. Dusty gift opens into the melancholy holidays. Yeah, none of them are particularly useful items, but, you know, they're cool to have. Except for the ghosts, obviously. The ghosts are, like, genuinely really useful items. Another gift of funny eggs. Cool. That's another chonker gift. Can you give me, like, some of the new exotic gifts, though? Or some of the ones that I don't have, please? Like, I appreciate getting the exotics, but, like, it, give me give me the new stuff, too. Hey, that's a new one. Look at that. Easy claps, boys. You know what? I actually think that for this video, this will be the last gift that I get, because I'm actually pretty satisfied with what I got. I grinded for, like, a few minutes and got a bunch of exotics, which is really, really nice. I've also been recording for an hour now, and I'd like to get this video finished tonight so that I can actually upload it when I'd like to. So, yeah, I think I'm going to go ahead and stop here, but... Yeah, this was actually a pretty successful bit of gift farming right at the end there. Genuinely pretty surprised as to how well it went, but look at that. In a very short amount of time, we've already gotten a good amount of these exotic items. That being said, I still don't have plans of going for question mark gift on this save file because fuck that. Yeah, anyway, I guess that's a good stopping point. I'm gonna go ahead and head out. Thank you guys for watching. Gotta shout out my channel members, of course, before I go. Big thank you to all the channel members, all the homies who are supporting me, all of the simps. It's all very much appreciated. We've got Crowbars, Dissa, Luke, Aramix, Phantom Ace, MLG, Ben, Ninja Girl, Abyss, Gage, Alex, Bem, The Jutsu, Skelly Games, Andrew, Atrax, Plut, and totally mysterious. All of them, of course, are incredible supporters, and so are all of you guys who are watching this video and who have stuck around to the very end. Man, I cannot get my words out. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you for all of the support in 2020. During what was a pretty terrible year for just about everyone, you managed to make it a pretty good year for me personally. 
YouTube was very good, and I owe all of that to you guys for all the support and just watching the content, so thank you. Here's to hoping that 2021 is a better year, and just as good of a year or a better year for the channel. Thank you guys. Love you, hate you. Peace, everyone.